What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Cooking Simulator. You guys remember how in the previous episodes we were in like a normal kitchen, like cooking normal food and stuff? Well, we make pizzas now. Specifically, only pizzas. I downloaded the pizza DLC for Cooking Simulator and loaded our previous save and now we're here. And we can't get back to the original kitchen, but it's no big deal. I figure we can make some pizzas. You know what? It'll be super sick. I did just finish the tutorial. Seems fairly straightforward. Is it forward? Forward. Forwards. Forwards. All right, so it says we have to look at our certificate. So let's take a peek at that Quest Villa app. So we got to pull up our phone. A lot of dialogue. I'm seeing a lot of dialogue here. Not much cooking. And he's gone. Just like that, Chef Boyardee has left the chat, and I think we're good to just kind of do our own thing now. Something I actually really like about the pizza DLC thing. For starters, it seems like we have a lot... I almost knocked over that bottle. It seems like we have a lot more to do. There's a lot more interaction in this kitchen, and I think that's pretty dope. But the other thing is that there's no timed day. Italy is much more relaxed than the US. I'm assuming our previous kitchen was in some hustly bustling city type of deal. But now that we're in Italy, everything is chill. And we can pretty much accept orders at any time. I need to make sure, okay, we have plenty of dough. We should be able to get a couple of pizzas made out of that. So let's, let's go over here. We'll accept our first order and we'll see what we got. A Puglies. Can we get a rebuttal on that? Just salami. Perfect. Just a salami pizza. And then if we pin that, now our phone should show the recipe at all times. That is nice. Okay, so we have a bunch of large pieces of dough. We need a medium. There's a schmedium back there. Put it down on the table here and then rolling pin. Now we just got to roll it out. Roll it out. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay. Next step, uh, marinara sauce, of course. And then they want some mozzarella, some salami. I, do we have salami? We better have salami. And then basil, okay. Oh god, I have to remember how to do this. Marinara first, so that'd be this. Pour it in the middle, and gradually work our way towards the outside of the pizza. Look at that, look at that, ladies and gentlemen, perfect. Nicely done. All right, after the marinara, what did we have? 96 grams of mozzarella. I'm not gonna try it. I'm not gonna try to be Italian. I can't do it. I just can't. So let's see, one of these is 20. How are we supposed to get 96? Oh, it's grated. Oh, no, 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 no. Can we, can we remove things? Can we remove stuff? I messed up. How do we throw away a pizza? Do we have to get the pizza peel? Give me that peel, boy. Let's come over here. Let's grab this pizza. There we go. Our totally messed up pizza. Where's the trash can? Let's throw this thing away. Garbage. Junk. Okay, and we're back. We're gonna try this again. So we split the large dough into sections. That's gonna give us the medium dough. So we'll grab that again. Place it down. Here we go. Here we go. This time for sure. This time for sure. I can't believe I missed where it says grated next to the mozzarella. Alright, sauce. We gotta get, oh jeez, this is bad. Okay, I would say that's probably enough sauce. It's not near as pretty as the last one. And then mozzarella grated right here, perfect. And we need how much? 96 grams. Okay, that's 32, 64, 96. Honestly, it doesn't look like we put that much cheese on the pizza. Okay, moving on though, we have salami. Cut salami and they want 64 grams of that. Seems pretty straightforward as well. Forward. Why do I keep saying forward? All right, we're going to try to make this pretty for him. Put a salami in the center. Maybe a, maybe a salami over here. Ooh, maybe a randy salami right over there. Maybe a, a loose salami here. Oh, no. Oh, no. They only wanted 64 grams and we gave them 96. That's all right. You know what? Totally cool. Totally cool. And then over here, we need some basil. They want 24 grams of basil, so that would be 3, 6, 9, 12, 24 seems like a lot. Okay, last one. There we go. Okay, pizza is complete. Let's grab this pizza peel again. Come on, buddy. There we go. We'll scoop up our pizza, our salami pizza. 
and we're going to go put it in the oven. This is the big moment. This is the moment I'm sure everyone's been waiting for. How do we actually cook a pizza? Well, all we have to do is put it in the oven. We grab some, some wood here. We stoke the flame. All right, we are looking good. Neapolitan-style pizza base is cooking. That's actually our, our salami pizza. It, it says that every time. I, I don't understand it. So in here... Just because we haven't had to use these things, I'll just kind of walk you guys through. We have our dough mixer here. We have we have flour and 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 shelving units in here. We got an automatic cutter, an electric grater. We have olive oil. <laughs> we have oregano. We got a a, a bread thing. We got a jug, because jugs are important. We have a clock as well. We can s sort of skip time. And that's about it. The cooking processor is where we make the sauce. Oh, we should probably we should probably keep an eye on our- Oh, our pizza's overcooked! Our pizza's slightly overcooked. Hang on. We can get it out. We're good. Everything's fine. It's fine. Look at that, dude. God dang. Okay, we'll put that over there for the moment. And we'll just kind of leave that there as well. We need a medium plate since we got a medium pizza. Put that right there. Now if we grab our pizza peel again. Pick up our pizza. Alright. Okay, now all we have to do is... Stop. 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 You're joking! Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We just have to put our pizza <laughs> on the plate. Put our peel away. And now if we pick up the plate... We can serve the plate and collect our Skrilla from that pizza. That customer is not going to be very happy with us, though. Oh, wow. They actually loved the fact that we put extra salami on there. Great. Terrific. Okay, I'm going to pick up our dough now. That's um, totally ruined, but we're going to use it anyways. Because what the customers don't know won't hurt them. So first pizza... Not exactly a success because we did kind of botch the the very first iteration of it, but let's go let's try for another. You know what? How much worse could it get? Marinara pizza? That seems easy. Literally just garlic, basil, and sauce. They don't even want any cheese on this. Another medium pizza. Okay, so we'll break up this piece of dough. There we go. Got our medium dough. Oop, on the on the there we go. Okay, let's roll her out. Okay, so first, marinara, of course. The first step of every great pizza. Okay, marinara done. Next, garlic. Do we have garlic? We have onion. Where do we get garlic at? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're not prepared for this. Okay, let's go down into the cellar. Go down into the cellar. Get some, some garlic. <laughs> That's probably the best... Herbert's a pervert I've ever done in my entire life. Okay, we need one garlic clove, right? Oh, no, we need... Oh, God, we need quite a bit. Okay, let's go upstairs, get our basket, and we'll go back down into the cellar. The cellar got some popsicles in the cellar. <laughs> got some, some popsicles in the cellar. That's as good as it's going to get. Okay, so we have uh, five grams of garlic. So this would be 10. Oh, no, it wants 32. How do we get 32 out of... This is not... This is not possible. It cannot be done. We'll get 30, sure, but we need 32 specifically. Okay, so I'm just going to... I'm going to throw that garlic in the corner. And uh, we're going to pick up... We're going to pick up this other garlic. And also just kind of... <laughs> just kind of throw it over there. Forget about it. There is another garlic. 500 grams. How am I supposed to get 32 grams of cut garlic? Do I just grab one of these? Let's just grab 500. Hang on just a minute. Get in the basket. Okay. Okay, you can't place it in the basket. You have to throw it in the basket. But now that we're back upstairs, we can put this on the counter. Okay, and then if I just get one of those little GN... Containers where are the where do we even keep those? Here's a couple a GN container. This is used for basically everything in the kitchen So if I put one of those in here, this is the automatic cutter and then I grab our 500 grams of garlic Let's put all of those into here Just dump them all in there. We go 500 G's going in All right start the cutter with the green button and uh, I think we can throw this little thing away. There we go 
And now we have 500 grams of cut garlic. That's perfect. We'll pull out this little shelf here and put this container right there. Put it back to the other side. All right, we're golden. We're golden. I just got to put this basket back really... Sometimes... <laughs> sometimes we can... Oh my god. There we go. That's good enough. I was going to say sometimes we can do things pretty easily and other times it's super difficult to do anything to do the simplest of things so now let's get our 32 grams of cut garlic here so it's eight grams per that makes more sense so that's eight 16 24 and 32 grams of cut garlic and then 24 grams of basil leaf so we'll grab some more basil 9 12 15 18 21 25 and that's it they didn't want any cheese or or anything on it. Cool. It definitely makes our lives quite a bit easier. All right. Now that we have that, we'll go pop her in the oven. Yo, I would love like a professional pizza oven like this. That would be so sick. Okay, and we got to stoke the flame a bit. We can tell by this little gauge here. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's my name. There we go. All right, temperature's looking excellent. Now all we have to do is wait for this pizza to finish up. Let's grab a medium plate though, because we kind of forgot to do that last time. And we will be ready for the next order. Grab our pizza peel and we'll just stand here, look pretty and wait. I don't know what the incinerate button does yet, but I'm not gonna try that. I don't want to ruin our pizza, I'm assuming that's like a flash cook, like super, just basically burn everything in the oven type of cooking. I don't know why you would ever use that. Yeah, dude, look it. It's literally a marinara pizza with garlic and basil. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. I, my pizzas need cheese on it. Actually, the more cheese, the better. I gotta feel like my arteries are clogging up as I'm eating the pizza. That's the end goal here. Marinara pizza, what do we got? Come on, give it to me. Five stars, dude. Okay, if anything, I think we're a better pizza chef than we were just a regular chef, to be completely honest here. Let's accept our, our next order, and we'll see what we got. A margarita pizza. Mom, mom. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. All right, margarita pizza. We'll pin that one. Let's see what we got here. Uh, cut mozzarella, basil, that's it. Mozzarella and basil and marinara. Ooh, it's a small pizza for once, though. Good deal. We'll just get a small pizza rolled out for him. There we go. Tiny little guy here. And first step, of course, is marinara. There we go. Looking good, looking good. And then cut mozzarella. So this one, 60 grams of that. One of them is 20, so we need... Three of them? I should have I should have spaced those out a little a little more even. Okay, and then twelve grams of basil, so that's right here. I think that should be four of them? Is that right? Yeah, four basil. <laughs> it's a happy pizza, guys. It's a happy pizza. Alright, and that's it. That is a margarita pizza, mamma mia, complete. Pop this sucker in the oven. Should still have plenty of heat left in her. Oh, no, don't take it out, don't take it out. We just put it in there, you idiot. All right, now back out. There we go. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. All right, we need more log boys in there. Let's get two more log boys. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay, and then a small plate. This is the first time I've had to use the small plates. There we go. And we will be ready with the pizza peel. <laughs> I love how... You, you can hit basically anything with the pizza peel. It's just... <laughs> this is so good. I love this game so much. Oh, pizza's done. All right. Let's, let's take it out. Okay. We're good. We're good. Put it on the plate. Nice. Put the peel away and serve from the plate. Done, dude. Done. Deal. Two minutes and 34 seconds to make the margarita mamma mia. Oh, what do we got here? Alfredo sauce. New recipe. 
No. No. Are you kidding me, dude? All right, this is gonna, this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna have to use that massive mixing thing. This recipe will start appearing in order starting tomorrow. Okay. These products will start appearing in order starting tomorrow as well. All right. So we have prosciutto. We have mushrooms, young artichokes, uh, bacon, eggplant. I'm going to go with bacon. And let's do prosciutto, I guess, and mushrooms. That seems fair. Okay. I don't think I'm going to accept another order. I feel like we should probably figure out how to make the Alfredo sauce and just sort of get that staged for um, tomorrow. So I need to figure out how to do that again. Oh, Chef Boyardee's back. We're closing for today and won't be taking any new orders. Finish what you've started and then prepare for tomorrow. Perfect. I'm already just way ahead of you here. Way ahead of you. Okay, so Pizza Pro app, if we go into sauces, we have the marinara, which we've made plenty of, and then we have the Alfredo. So I'm gonna pin that to our phone and we'll be able to sort of watch it here. First and first mostly, we need 150 grams of butter. So let's see, how much butter is this? How many butters are you? 150 grams, that's perfect. You're going in the mixing bowl. Thank you much. Did that add it? Interesting, it doesn't say that we actually put it in there, but I know we did. And then 50 grams of garlic. Okay, so let's take our basket down to the cellar again, and we'll just, we'll, we'll try using the five gram garlics and 50 grams of garlic. Okay, moving on, we have one liter, or one milliliter, no, one liter of milk, 150 grams of flour, and Parmesan cheese. I think everything else should be upstairs. Oh no, it's right here. 500 grams of Parmesan cheese. A whole brick of Parmesan cheese is going in this pizza, my God. Let's first grab our cheese, our massive, brick of cheese and we'll just put that in there straight away we're not going to cut it up or anything we're just chucking it on in there and then all of the garlic has to go in there as well can we just can we can we dump the garlic in we missed quite a bit of garlic <laughs> we missed quite a bit of garlic that's all right it's okay you know what this is why we have hands and we can pick garlic up off the floor and make sauce with it. It's totally cool. All right, that should be all the garlic, hopefully. It's stacked up on the, the block of cheese, so I'm assuming it's good. Now we need a liter of milk. Liquids, milk, I'm assuming they'll give us a liter. Yes, perfect. Now if we come over here, we can just straight dump the whole thing in there. Beautiful, wait. Why did we do this? Why did we do this? Hang on. Let me show you how, how badly we messed this up. Do you see right there where it says dough mixer, not sauce mixer? There is absolutely no shot that this is going to work. Not a chance, not a chance. We should have been putting all of these ingredients into the cooking processor, but we're dumb. We're very dumb, dumb, big dumb. And by we, I mean me. Um, so let's try to turn this on and see if anything happens, I guess, right? Let's see if it'll, <laughs> let's see if it'll make some, uh, some sauce for us. It's not looking good. Okay, starting from the top here, let's grab one of these containers and we need to place that in there. Okay, that's going in here. Good. Now it's actually saying that we're adding things to it because we are adding things to it and not the dough mixer. This is for dough and that's all. That is that is all that's made in the dough mixer. Go figure, right? Okay, we need some more Parmesan and we need 50 more grams of garlic. So I'm gonna grab all that. You guys saw that already, so I'm just gonna quickly do that. All right, we got the goods, baby, we got the goods. Let's head back upstairs. I like the, the elevation change too. That's that's kind of unique to this as well. All right, let's put that up there. Oh, you can open all the drawers, dude. We could keep stuff in here. This is incredible. I mean, it just keeps getting better, honestly. Just keeps getting better. Okay, Parmesan, you, my good man, are going straight in there and apparently it's gonna fit. That's great. And now all of the garlic cloves, that's gonna be kind of an issue. 
Um, just kind of getting them all to go in there. Because I can't do a multi-select. I don't think. I'm going to have to manually pick them up one by one and add them. <laughs> Honestly, it might be easier if I just put this on the floor. Or wait. Can I do this? I can do that! Okay, that's that's way easier. Perfect. Put the basket over there. So, we have butter, we have garlic, we have cheese. Now we need our milk again. Let's grab our milk from the store. We're just going to go to this box, and apparently we can get a whole milk from that box. Dump in a thousand milliliters of milk. There we go. Throw away the, the carton, can, tin thing. All right, next, 150 grams of flour. Universal flour. Okay, so not this flour, universal flour. All right. 150 grams. Ooh, that's, that's a bit much. That's a bit much. This is not going to be a good cheese. Why can't we just measure things normally and, oh my God. All right, you back up on the shelf. It's fine. It's fine. We're not going to let it get us down. All right. 10 grams of salt, 10 grams of pepper. That's fairly straightforward. Forward as well. Not forward. Forward. Okay. And then what do we have over here? Oh, th this is the blob. <laughs> this is what we made in the dough mixer. This blob. In the cooking processor, I'm assuming that this is going to work. It should just sort of make the sauce, right? <gasps> Alfredo sauce. We did it. We did it! It does just look like a vat of cheese. I don't know why I expected anything else. We'll get that put next to the marinara. I'm actually gonna reorganize this. Put that marinara above that marinara. Maybe put the other mozzarella above this mozzarella, right? I'm happy with that. Great, so we made some Alfredo sauce. That's looking fantastic. Alrighty, I would say we had a very eventful first day here in Mamma Mia's Pizzeria. I, we don't have a name for our pizza shop either. It's just pizza cooking simulator. Nonetheless, I do think I'm going to wind things down here. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.